All right. So Paige is on the bus.、Mm. She's going to school, and、mm-hmm. she's going to read this before she goes to school. So、mm. this letter from Grandma.、Mm. Oh, so let's take a look at what this letter、oh, says. The letter's I mean, good. I know. I'm so nervous. Me too. It says, "Dearest Paige,、mm. you're about to take a big exam."、Mm-hmm. So okay, Grandma knew in the future that Paige is going to go to college、mm. and life is going to move on for her. So、mm-hmm. she prepared a letter for her. She says, "I know you're going to take a big exam." So she knows that you're going to take a big. Test. When you're about to do something, it just means that、um, something is about to happen, and that it will happen very, very soon, or they will do it now, or something.、Mm-hmm. So we know that she will take a test very, very soon. There you go. And the letter continues with Grandma writing, "I'm sure you'll do well." Oh, that's nice.、Mm-hmm. But I have something important to tell you. All right.、Mm. So she's not really giving her. Basic advice like study hard or listen to your teachers or do your homework. She says, "I'm sure you'll do well. I know you're a good student. I know you'll study hard and all、yeah. that stuff. But I have something important to tell you. So this、Ooh. is the main idea, the main focus of the letter. We'll get to that after we look at this important word, which is important. It's an important word.、Mm-hmm. It's important, and if it's an important word, it must be an adjective, right? Important is spelled I M P O R T A N T. Important. All right. When we use important, we're talking about how big, how major, how much attention we need to pay to something. Important information is information that you don't want to ignore. You really should pay attention. An important person or a Very important person, a VIP, is someone who is really important. Maybe they have a lot of power. Maybe they're very famous or something like that. All right. If there's an important thing that your doctor needs to talk to you about, <gasps> that could be very serious because your health is important. If you don't have good health, you'll be sick. You could. Die, all sorts of terrible things. So it's important to focus on important things because if you don't, something serious could happen. For example, everyone in the room sat and watched the important news on TV. Everyone in the room sat and watched the important news on TV. Wonder what's going on. All right, so let's continue reading about what the letter says. So、mm-hmm. Grandma has something Im- something, something important important to、That's、tell her.、Right. So it says, "School tests don't test everything about you."、Mm. Hmm, okay. I'm starting to kind of get the idea now. Okay,、mm-hmm. as she says, tests don't show you can draw well or sing beautifully. Oh, okay. So、mm-hmm. Grandma's giving some examples of some of the things that are good about you, even if you don't get a chance to show them off on a test, or、mm-hmm. if you do badly on a test. It doesn't mean that these wonderful things about you are not wonderful anymore. Yeah, maybe you can draw well. That won't show up on a、right. math test. Maybe you can sing. Beautifully, that won't show up if you do well or badly on a geography test either. And singing beautifully is a skill that not a lot of people have,、mm-hmm. so that's something to be very proud of. Beautifully, it's an adverb. It's spelled B E A U T I F U L L Y. I'll spell that again because it's really long. B E A U T I F U L. Beautiful. L Y. Beautifully. All right, beautiful. Of course, the adjective is something I'm sure you're all aware of and heard. Beautiful is like pretty, good-looking, attractive. We can talk talk about a beautiful day, a beautiful flower, a beautiful painting. Well, if you do something in a beautiful way, you do it beautifully. We often use this to talk about movement, dance, something that's done in a graceful or elegant kind of way. People can dance beautifully. They can. Paint beautifully. They can sing beautifully. You wouldn't use it to talk about, you know, weird things like I drink milk beautifully. No, there's nothing attractive or unattractive about drinking milk. I do math homework beautifully. No, but you could talk about how you write beautifully. If you have very nice handwriting, that could be done in a beautiful way or done beautifully. For example, Alice can dance beautifully. Everyone loves to watch her dance. Alice can dance beautifully. Everyone loves to watch her dance. So Grandma has really an important point here.、Mm-hmm. 
We know that tests are important yeah, sure. and we do have to get good grades True. in school, but they don't test everything about all the other skills that you have, such as uh, maybe writing, uh, mm -hmm. dancing nicely or singing beautifully or all the other wonderful skills or you have. just being a wonderfully kind and caring person. Yeah, exactly. And next, Grandma says in the letter, they don't test your friendships or family relationships. Good point. Very good point. Now, a relationship is a special connection or a bond you have between other people. Now, if we had family in front of relationship, it means it's the relationship or bond you have with your family. So grandma says it doesn't test about how well you get along with your family or how good you are with your family. It doesn't test friendship as well. So friendship here is our word power word. It's spelled F-R-I-E-N-D-S-H-I-P, friendship. Friendship is a noun and it means the state of being friends with other people or it just means how friendly you are with other people. So if you have a best friend uh, at school, then you guys have a really great friendship. Let's take a look at our sample sentence. It says, one way to build a strong friendship is to always listen to your friends. One way to build a strong friendship is to always listen to your friends. All right, the letter goes on to say, I'm sure you make people happy. There you go. That's a good thing to do in your relationships, whether they're with your friends or your family. Making people happy is a very good quality, a very good part of your personality, if that's the kind of person you are. And yes, it's not mm -hmm. something that will ever be tested on a high school exam. No, or... there's not going to be a question saying, are you a right. good friend? No. Never. No. All right, so Grandma continues to say, I'm sure you help others all the time. Mm. So yes, Paige is a very nice girl. She, she always is. is super friendly. She mm -hmm. always wants to help other people. Mm -hmm. And Grandma says, I know you want to help people all the time. So all the time just means very often, mm -hmm. okay? Throughout the whole time that we have, she does it all you know, throughout her life, That's it doesn't right. matter when or where. There you it go. Happens. I mean, she's she's never done anything to you know mm -hmm. hurt Jimmy and Timmy, mm -hmm. right? And and I would because they're kind of annoying <laughs> all the they're time. They're kind of silly, naughty little boys. There you go. And mm -hmm. as it says, those things will never be on a test. That's mm -hmm. right. As we've pointed out through this whole time, all of these good things about Paige will never be tested. So if you get a bad test grade, don't worry about it too much because there are great things about you that will never show up on a test. Yeah. In other words... Yeah, and it says your test grade will tell you something, but it won't tell you everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just because you're not very good at math mm -hmm. doesn't mean you know, you're know you not a good person or you don't do well in science or English. It doesn't mean you're stupid or anything. Mm -hmm. It just means you know there's other things about you that are better that doesn't show up on that exact, uh, on that exact test. Absolutely. As she also says, there are many ways of being smart you are smart. Mm. This is really good advice. Yeah. I remember in, you know, in school you often think, oh, that kid's a smart kid because he gets good grades. And right. that kid's not so smart because he doesn't get good grades. Well, I, as I've lived my life, I've met people who mm. maybe didn't do so well at school, but they were amazing at certain things. They could do things with their hands or their yeah. imagination that I never could have thought of. And I went to school longer than they did. But mm -hmm. you know, I had a friend who made a giant fish tank with his own hands. Wow. And it worked. Wow. And I don't know how he knew how to do it, but he did. It was amazing. And hmm. that would never show up on a test. Yeah, he's smart in different ways. And even I think some of the best or the, you know, the richest men on earth, like Bill mm -hmm. Gates. True. I remember he wasn't very good at school as well, but he dropped out. Yeah. So did Steve Jobs. Exactly. And they're there you go. owners of Microsoft, all these big tech companies that we use. So mm -hmm. you can be smart in different ways. True, true. And then grandma says in the letter, always do your best and never give up. I believe in you. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh man, it makes me want to cry now, right? Okay, okay, let's stop here. Let's take a look at our word power word before we get too emotional. She says, don't give up. <coughs> give up is spelled G-I-V-E space U-P. Give up. Sorry. Right. I miss grandma. <laughs> Give up here is used as a verb and it means to stop thinking or believing in something. When we say don't give up, it means to keep on believing in yourself and keep on doing what you're doing because you're on the right path and you're on the right track. 
Let's take a look at our sample sentence. It says, keep running, don't give up. You're nearly at the finish line. Keep running, don't give up. You're nearly at the finish line. Mm, so grandma, she says, do not give up. Keep doing what you're doing because mm. she believes, grandma believes in Paige. Now, when you believe in someone, it means you trust the person because you know that they can do something very well or you know that they're a very good person and that they will succeed. That's right. You have confidence in that person. All right. So next we see that Paige has finished reading the letter and then Paige looks at the letter and she starts to feel a little emotional like I was just a moment ago. Oh, and she okay. says, aww, mm. aww, not like aww, but like aww, aww. you know, it's like she's aww, feeling very emotional. Grandma. She's thinking mm. of grandma. And of course, she's also thinking of these wonderful, kind, loving, and wise words that grandma has written in this great letter. So mm -hmm. what do we see as our last picture? All right, in the picture, we see that Paige holds the letter in her arms. Mm. She kind of hugs it. And then she says, thanks, Grandma. Aww, that's sweet. That's really sweet. Well, so it's kind of like she's yeah. hugging her grandma in the letter. Absolutely. Right? There you go. I wonder right. if she's going to go home and read some, of more, some more of Grandma's letters of wisdom. Well, that might happen in another day in another unit. But for now, that's it for us. But don't go anywhere because we will come back for a quick wrap-up. And then we'll see you back here soon.